welcome to the channel. And in this video, we're going to be doing an update of our gardening jobs for July video. So we're going to walk around and see if we actually did the jobs that we said we were going to do and uh, then show you what it looks like now. Now, if you remember, what the flip did Lorna do to my lawn? And this is what it looks like now. And what did I have to do to uh, fix it? It turned out I just had to water it and that little discoloration there is all the evidence that is left. Now, if you remember in our previous video and I'll put that link in the description for you, um, we were talking about um, putting down a lawn feed weed and muscular down to um, deal with the clover and um, be honest with you, I didn't do it. And the reason why I didn't do it is because Lorna keeps bringing the tortoises out to eat the clover and I don't want to cause any sort of contamination or risk to the tortoises. So on this one, I lost clover is still here. Although I have a moment to within an inch of its life so you don't see any more of those flipping horrible flowers. Oof. Now I did go on at length about the importance of watering your garden during periods of drought. However, the last two weeks have been probably the wettest on record I've had, absolutely no need to water anything. Um, particularly things like uh, specimen plants that are competing with larger plants, such as the camellia that's planted under the tree, so it's got the protection from the shade. So no watering required. It doesn't mean that you won't have to where you are. Yeah, so Lorna took out all the weeds from here, and what we found is there's a little uh, fern growing there, so I'm going to take that out at some point and pop that on, and then uh, that'll eventually end up in the, the garden. And then we took off this overhanging section of anonium here. Now, we've not had any bud break in the stem yet, and then the section we, uh, we took off, we've uh, allowed to dry callus, and that's been planted in this new container. And while I'm here, I've got this amazing Stapelia grandiflora. Look at the size of these flower buds. Absolutely amazing. A small job that I needed to uh, get a bit of a move on with was to put some supporting canes on some of the plants that were struggling to hold their, their own stems up high or where plants have been hit by the heavy rain and, and knocked them over. So we've done this one here. This was a, a Lysomeca that just got too tall for its own good and just collapsed but that'll that'll settle in now it's got some support we have this dahlia seedling here whose the internodal lengths are so huge it, it just can't you just can't stand up by itself that has to have a support which you've got here this rose is falling over with the weight of its blooms although these uh these are old blooms need to be cutting back but i've left them on for now because i'm going to do a video about how to uh prune the uh, or deadhead roses you know because there's so many different types they all need slightly different technique and this dahlia in here, which was uh, overshadowed, so you've got really etiolated growth. And uh, what I've done is I've created more light to get in here by removing some bigger leaves around it and giving it some support so I can get more sun on these top leaves. Now on the whole, the borders are pretty much weed free now, but we've kept some weeds in place, which are uh, seedlings from some of the ornamental plants that we've got in the garden. So we've left those for now. Um, let me show you where they are. Now we've got some calla seedlings down there. Triachiums going through here, 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 and a big one there. We've got woodland tobacco here and here. Look how big they've got. They've really put on some size. Hold on, I just want to interrupt this broadcast with some important news. If you are finding this video interesting, or at the very least amusing, then consider pressing the like button. That way YouTube can help other people looking for this information to find this video. And if you want to support this video further, you can just by subscribing, it's absolutely free. And if you want to find out whenever we publish a new video, then click on that notification bell. Anyway, I'll let old boil butt continue talking. Now we talked about removing some of the more ragged leaves off the uh, hardy bamboo, which we have done. I haven't taken them all off, otherwise I wouldn't have hardly any leaves left. Uh, but by doing that, we actually realised that the, we had a flower here. Not only do we have the flower, we even have small bananas. Let's take a closer look. Look at that, absolutely wonderful. 
Now, the, the bananas, once they're ripened on the musa bashu, they're still not going to be edible, but that's not going to stop me taking them off, opening them up and see if there's any like a pulp in there for me to taste. And uh, when that happens, I'll do a little video and let you know about it. Now, we did speak about the tree fern uh, regarding watering. And um, over the summer, especially during periods of drought and temperatures are high, you're going to need to do quite a lot of watering. You need to water in the crown most days. And when it's really hot, there's no harm doing that twice a day. So you put like a cupful of water in the morning, a cupful of water in the afternoon, and at least once a week, give that trunk a really good soaking. Anyway, you can see how well it's doing. Let me show you. We've still got very good, strong angles on these fronds, although in time these fronds will drop. But you know, because we've been feeding this regularly too, we get, we'll get a feed once a week. We've actually got, if you can see, a second batch of fronds coming through already. Look at that. Now these calla lilies are doing very well. And I probably said before that these aren't true flowers. These are coloured bracts that are modified leaves. If you don't believe that that's a modified leaf, check this one out. I'm not sure what's happened here, but let me turn that and you can see that leaf, bracked, modified leaf. Now we are down to our last few pots waiting to be uh, hardened off and um, a bunch of you, that would have to stay there. And this is sort of like hospitalized because it's looking a bit rubbish. Um, and plus there's some more plants in the greenhouse that will be taking cuttings from them. They'll have to come and be hardened off on the whole. We are clearing these through and the Vitus cognetianus frame we've uh, been tying in. There's still some bits really that need to be uh, adjusted, but on the whole, I think that's doing quite nicely. They even had a little trailer to give it more of an Italian aesthetic. And this was the last job that we looked at, and that was to start training this uh, camellia uh, as an espalier along these uh, these panels of the fence in here so that's been so these have been brought in tied up and uh, we've removed a certain amount of the plant here so keep it more flat against that fence gate fence so there you have it that is pretty much all of the jobs that were uh, talked about in that original video and uh, on the whole they're mostly done there's a few little bits outstanding but we kind of clear through them all but uh, you know, if there's anything you want to say, anything you want to mention, any great tips for this time of year, then let us know. Leave that in the comments section. Anyway, before I go, I've got one last message for you. Right now, just before you go, if you want to see more content, more behind the scenes stuff, and uh, images that I've taken of some weird, freaky plants over the years, then uh, you're in luck because we've created an Instagram page. So uh, you can find the link in our description. You can find the link on our main page. And if I'm clever enough, I might better get a link somewhere up there. Anyway, thank you for watching. And uh, if you want to see more YouTube stuff, then uh, check out this video here. That's quite a good one. And if it doesn't float your boat, then uh, another one right there. And uh, enjoy these while still at the strength, imagination and aptitude to make them. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.